Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to view the time in a different time zone using the world time feature on your Casio ProTrek PRG240 watch. Now, this is the module 3246. It should work for any of the 3246 models out there. It will also work for any of the 3173s. What Casio does is they basically give you 48 different cities, 31 different time zones that you can go view the time for in your world time mode, and I'll show you that. So right now I'm in my timekeeping mode. It's pretty simple. I'm going to simply press the mode button three times to get to the world time. You'll notice at the top, in my case, where it's kind of a yellowish color, you should see WT displayed whenever you get to the world time mode. You'll also have a pointer that changes and shows you all of these different pointer options that you've got over here. Not sure if you'll be able to read those. They're really small, but one of them is world time. Your pointer will also be pointing to world time when you get to that mode. So let's go ahead and let's press the mode button. One, two, three. You'll notice the WT and then the pointer was pointing to world time. It only stays there for a second in both cases, and then it's going to display the actual time zone that you're looking at in your world time mode. In my case, LON, it's showing me London. So I'm looking at the time for London. Now there's a few different things you're going to see on here. The middle section will show you the time for the world time that you're looking at. So right now it is currently 4.08 p.m. in London. The pointer that is not blinking shows me the current time in London, but it is displayed in 24-hour format. So again, 4.08 p.m. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but that pointer is pointing to 16 which basically means it's 1600 hours in London, 4 p.m. Same difference. You'll notice there's a blinking pointer down here. That is showing me my current time based on my current home city. Uh, and the bottom, 11.09 a.m. is showing me my current time in digital format. So you basically got a pointer that's showing you your 24 hour format for your current time as well as your uh, world time. And then you've got the actual time itself. So what if you want to see a different world time? You can basically use the compass or the altimeter button to change your world time value. I believe the compass will move you to the west. You can simply press it, look at all the different options. If you want to use uh, the altimeter button, it'll just basically move you to the east. And you'll notice as I'm pressing it, the pointer and the times are changing. There's not a whole lot else to show you on this other than if you wanted to display daylight savings time for your given world time value while you're in the world time mode, you're going to press and hold the adjust button. It's the middle button on the left hand side at the bottom. You'll notice it says DST hold and now we're looking at our world time value but it's showing it in daylight savings time value. Again, if you switch, it will not keep that. So when I go to let me find something. Cairo, I think. C-A-I is Cairo. You'll notice that the DST value is not there. If I want to display DST, I have to do it for the given world time that I'm displaying. So again, if I wanted that, press and hold. And now it's displaying DST. If we get out of this mode, I'm going to go ahead and press the mode button a couple times. Get back to my main timekeeping mode. When I go back into the world time mode, it will remember the last value that I had in there. So again, it's showing Cairo, it's showing DST time. If I wanted to switch that, I would have to go through the same steps that we just looked at. Pretty simple stuff. Again, once you get done, you can press the mode button a couple times, go back to your main timekeeping mode, and that's how we look at the world time values on our PRG240 watch. I hope the video helps.